Magandang araw po. Welcome back to Mask Kwentuhan. Napag-usapan natin sa last math tutorial video yung tungkol sa adding and subtracting monomials. Pangatlong video na po natin ito at marami pa tayong gagawin ng mga math tutorial videos. So subscribe now guys and help me grow this channel and kindly share our videos na din po sa iba pang students para may matutunan din sila. So ang pag-aaralan natin ngayong araw na ito ay tungkol sa multiplying polynomial expressions. Ginawa ko ang video na ito para sa mga students na gustong matutunan yung concept ng multiplying polynomials. So this video will cover the following concepts na ipapaliwanag natin ng step by step. Remember that to multiply polynomials, may mga rules and properties in mathematics na dapat nating tandaan. And one of those is the distributive property of multiplication over addition o yung tinatawag nating DPMA. Which means that if an indicated sum is multiplied by a certain value, then multiplication can be distributed over addition. So in this case, we have a times the quantity x plus y plus z. Yung a natin will be distributed to x, y, and z, which is equal to ax plus ay plus az. Kailangan din nating tandaan yung iba't ibang loss of exponents at isa sa mga ito ay yung tinatawag nating product rule. Which tells us that when we multiply two same bases, we simply add their exponents. So in symbol, we write a raised to m times a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n. For example, if may given tayo na ganito, x squared times x cubed. Since yung base ng first factor at saka yung base ng second factor is just the same, we can simply add the exponents and we copy the common base. That's why we get x raised to 2 plus 5 which is equal to x raised to 7. And of course, kailangan din natin tandaan yung concept ng combining like terms na pinag-usapan natin sa last video. So we have to keep in mind that at the end of the multiplication process, it is necessary to combine like terms. So, paano nga ba mag-multiply ng polynomial expressions? Simulan natin ito sa monomial to monomial. Let's say, for example, we are given a monomial term which is 5x and another monomial term which is 8x. To multiply 5x and 8x, ang gagawin lang natin is to multiply the coefficients of the given terms. Simulan muna natin sa numerical coefficients na 5 and 8. So, that's 5 times 8 which is equal to 40. Then, i-multiply din natin yung mga variables, that's x times x. And remember na yung x has an imaginary exponent of 1. x raised to 1 times x raised to 1, product rule, which would result to x squared. So, our final answer would be 40x squared. Let's have another example. So, yung given natin this time is negative 4x times negative 7x. This is just the same with what we did in the first example. I-multiply muna natin yung negative 4 at saka negative 7 and that's equal to 28. And this time yung mga variables naman, so we have x times x. So yung x as an imaginary exponent of 1. That's why we get x raised to 1 plus 1 which is equal to x squared. So our final answer would be 28x squared. Paano naman mag-multiply ng isang monomial term at saka isang binomial term? Let's say for example, meron tayong uh, monomial term na 3y squared at isang binomial term na 5y plus 6. Now to get the product of 3y squared and 5y plus 6, we will use the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So yung 3y squared will be distributed to 5y. So that's 3y squared times 5y. At pagkatapos niyan, i-distribute ulit natin yung 3y squared sa isa pang term na nasa loob ng quantity sign. So that's 3y squared times 6. Then this time, we multiply 3 and 5 and y squared and y. So we obtained 15y cubed. I-multiply din natin yung isa pang term. So that's 3 times 6. And yung number natin na 6 is the same as 6y raised to 0. But we do not necessarily write y raised to 0 because this is already equal to 1. But for illustration, we will write 6y raised to 0 for us to understand why we simply copy y squared kung yung isang factor ay walang variable. Since 3 times 6 is equal to 18 and y squared times y raised to 0 is equal to y squared, so our final answer would be 15y cubed plus 18y squared. 
Let's consider another similar example. So, yung monomial term natin is 6x at yung binomial term natin is 8x squared minus 5x. To multiply 6x and 8x squared minus 5x, we will still use the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So, we will distribute 6x to 8x squared. That's why we get 6x times 8x squared and 6x to negative 5x, kaya meron tayong minus 6x times 5x. Gaya lang ng ginawa natin kanina, we will multiply the coefficients. So, that's 6 times 8 and x times x squared. Since 6 times 8 is equal to 48 and x times x squared is equal to x cubed, that's why we get 48x cubed. Pagkatapos niyan, i-multiply naman natin yung mga coefficients ng second term. So, that's 6 times 5 and x times x. Since 6 times 5 is equal to 30 and x times x is equal to x squared, kaya nakuha natin yung sagot na 30x squared and we just simply copy the subtraction symbol. So, our final answer would be 48x cubed minus 30x squared. Paano naman mag-multiply ng isang monomial term at saka isang trinomial term? Let's say for example, yung given monomial is 3n squared at saka yung given trinomial expression is negative 8n squared plus 5n minus 2. So to multiply, we will distribute 3n squared to each term of the given trinomial expression. So that's 3n squared times negative 8n squared plus 3n squared times 5n minus... 3n squared times 2. The next step that we will apply is to multiply the coefficients of the first term. So that's 3 times negative 8 which is equal to negative 24. And we will also multiply n squared and n squared by product rule that's n raised to 2 plus 2 which is equal to n raised to 4. So yung product ng first term is equal to negative 24 n raised to 4. Pumunta naman tayo sa second term ng expression natin. This time, we will still multiply the coefficients. That's 3 times 5 which is equal to 15 and n squared times n which is equal to n cubed. That's why we obtain 15 n cubed. Sa last term natin, we will multiply 3 and 2. That's equal to 6 and we simply copy n squared. So we obtain minus 6n squared. So our final answer would be negative 24n raised to 4 plus 15n raised to 3 minus 6n raised to 2. Paano naman mag-multiply ng dalawang binomial expressions? Let's say for example, yung given binomial terms are 2x plus 1 and x minus 3. Now, to multiply 2x plus 1 and x minus 3, pwede pa rin natin gamitin yung distributive property of multiplication over addition in order to get the product of 2x plus 1 and x minus 3. But in this case, kukunin natin yung product ng 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 using the vertical form. So, isulat muna natin yung 2x plus 1 at sa baba ay yung x minus 3. So, yung gagawin natin dito is we will distribute x to 2x and x to positive 1. That's x times 2x equals 2x squared. Then, x times 1, that's why we have plus 1x or simply x. But for illustration, lagyan lang muna natin ng 1. Yung next na gagawin natin is to distribute negative 3 to 2x and negative 3 to 1. So, that's negative 3 times 2x which is equal to negative 6x. And we also multiply negative 3 and 1, kaya mayroon tayong negative 3. Then, we add by combining like terms. So, we simply copy 2x squared and we combine 1x and negative 6x. So, 1x plus negative 6x, that's equal to negative 5x. And we copy negative 3. So, our final answer would be 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. We can also use the FOIL method para makuha natin yung product ng dalawang binomial terms. This method only works for multiplying two binomial expressions. So, kung gusto mong makuha yung product ng isang monomial term at saka isang binomial term o isang monomial term at saka isang trinomial term, 
hindi mo na pwedeng gamitin yung FOIL method. So, yung F sa FOIL method stands for the first terms. Yung O stands for the outer terms. Yung I stands for the inner terms. At saka yung L naman stands for the last terms. Yung given binomial terms natin kanina ay 2x plus 1 at x minus 3. So, in this example, yung first terms natin ay yung 2x at saka yung x. Yung outer terms naman natin ay yung 2x at saka yung negative 3. Yung inner terms natin ay yung 1 at saka x. At yung last terms naman natin ay yung 1 at negative 3. In order to get the product of 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 using FOIL method, first is we need to get the product of the first terms, outer terms, inner terms, at saka yung last terms. Sinabi natin kanina na sa example na to, yung first terms natin ay yung 2x at saka x. So, 2x times x is equal to 2x squared. Yung outer terms naman natin ay yung 2x at saka negative 3. So, that's 2x times negative 3 equals negative 6x. Yung inner terms natin ay yung 1 at saka x. That's 1 times x equals 1x or simply x. And yung product naman ng last terms is equal to negative 3 because 1 times negative 3 is equal to negative 3. Ang next step na gagawin natin is to add the following values. That's why we get 2x squared minus 6x plus 1x minus 3. Then we can combine negative 6x and 1x. That's why we get 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 as our final answer. At ito din yung sagot na naobtain natin kanina by using the vertical form. Ang gagawin naman natin this time is we will multiply trinomial and binomial expressions. Let's say yung given trinomial expression natin is 3x squared minus 5x plus 6. And yung binomial expression naman natin is 2x minus 3. So how do we multiply 3x squared minus 5x plus 6 and 2x minus 3? So yung vertical format pa rin yung gagamitin natin dito to easily get the product of the given trinomial and binomial. So we can write the trinomial expression first and below is the binomial term. Gaya pa rin ang ginawa natin kanina, we will distribute 2x to each term of the given trinomial expression. First, we multiply 2x and 3x squared and that's equal to 6x cubed. Then 2x times negative 5x, that's negative 10x squared. And 2x times 6 equals positive 12x. And next is the negative 3. So negative 3 times 3x squared is equal to negative 9x squared. Isusulat natin yung negative 9x squared below negative 10x squared because the terms are similar. Then negative 3 times negative 5x equals positive 15x. And negative 3 times 6 is equal to negative 18. And yung gagawin natin at this point is we will add the following expressions by combining like terms. In this case, we can simply copy 6x cubed at yung term naman na negative 10x squared at yung negative 9x squared can be combined because they are similar. So negative 10x squared plus negative 9x squared is equal to negative 19x squared. We can also combine 12x and 15x. So that's 12x plus 15x equals 27x and we simply copy negative 18. So our final answer would be 6x cubed minus 19x squared plus 27x minus 18. Yung last concept na pag-uusapan natin ay kung paano naman i-multiply yung trinomial expression sa isa pang trinomial expression. Say for example, yung given trinomial expression is x squared plus 4x minus 12. And another trinomial expression which is x squared minus 2x plus 1. A vertical format is still useful in finding the product of these two trinomial expressions. So we write x squared plus 4x minus 12 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. At this point, we will start with x squared. So that's x squared times x squared equals x raised to 4. x squared times positive 4x, that's 4x cubed. And x squared times negative 12 equals negative 12x squared. Pumunta naman tayo sa second term. 
yung term na negative 2x will be multiplied to each term of the given trinomial expression. So that's negative 2x times x squared equals negative 2x cubed. Then negative 2x times 4x equals negative 8x squared. And negative 2x times negative 12 which is equal to positive 24x. Yung last term na i-distribute natin ay yung 1. So 1 times x squared equals x squared. We write x squared below negative 12x squared and negative 8x squared because these terms are similar. And next is to multiply 1 and 4x. So that's 1 times 4x equals positive 4x. And 1 times negative 12 which is equal to negative 12. Then next step is to combine the following expressions. So we just copy x raised to 4. Then we can combine 4x cubed and negative 2x cubed which is equal to 2x cubed. We can also combine negative 12x squared, negative 8x squared, and x squared. So that's negative 12 plus negative 8 which is equal to negative 20 plus 1. So negative 20 plus 1 equals negative 19 and we copy x squared. That's why we obtain negative 19x squared. We can also combine 24x and 4x that's equal to positive 28x and we copy negative 12. So our final answer would be x raised to 4 plus 2x raised to 3 minus 19x raised to 2 plus 28x minus 12.